I'm doing the Beyonce single ladies dance. What's you that? Like, you haven't heard it? Mm-mm. It's a it's a snippet. How do you go? It goes like uh 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 not not that singing. Can I can I hear it on YouTube or something? Um, I don't know if it's out yet and why you hear it? Well, I like heard it on the radio, it's like a little snippet. YouTube got it trust me. You but I don't know if we can look it up on YouTube, like. Well, if it has a creative comment, we can look it up. Just go to YouTube. Trust me. Go to YouTube. Okay. Oh, it does say something about the creative comments on here. Duh, YouTube has everything. Okay, but we just have to find the video that has, a, like, a creative comment for it. So let's see. I don't even know if you can do it. When wanting to learn about Creative Commons, a simple Google of Creative Commons will send you to the organization's website. When clicking on the website, if you scroll down to learn about CC, it says, The idea of universal access to research, education, and culture is made possible by the internet, but our legal and social systems don't always allow that idea to be realized. Copyright was created long before the emergence of the internet and can make it hard to legally perform actions we take for granted on the network, such as copying, pasting, editing sources, and posting to the web. The default setting of copyright law requires all of these actions to have explicit permission, granted in advance whether you're an artist, teacher, scientist, librarian, policymaker, or regular user. To achieve the vision of universal access, someone needed to provide a free, public, and standardized infrastructure that creates a balance between the reality of the internet and the reality of copyright laws. That someone is Creative Commons. The website also says that it provides a set of copyright licenses and tools which are legally solid and globally acceptable. Users can go to the website and use these when licensing their material. To learn more, going to YouTube and scrolling down to copyright, you can go to information about Creative Commons. YouTube says Creative Commons licenses provide a standard way for content creators to grant someone else permission to use their work. YouTube allows users to mark their videos with Creative Commons CC BY license attribution reuse allowed. As you can see, it will show up at the bottom under your video and license your video with Creative Commons. YouTube says some things you should know is that by marking your original video with a Creative Commons license, you are granting the entire YouTube community the right to reuse and edit that video. Please understand that you may only mark your uploaded video with Creative Commons if a license consists entirely of your content licensable by you under the CC BY license. Some examples of such licensable content are your entirely originally created content, other videos that have been marked with CC BY license, or videos in the public domain. What deficiencies do the proponents of Creative Commons see in traditional copyright, and why do they think it needs to be transformed? The original copyright is the exclusive legal right given to an originator or an assignee to print, publish, perform, film, or record literary, literary, artistic, or musical material, and to authorize others to do the same. This can be transformed because using Creative Commons, you are allowed to use an artist's content without necessarily having authorization to use it, but as long as you reference them and provide citations for them, then you are allowed to use it. The advantages of Creative Commons is that users can freely display creators' content without consequences, and they are able to make their own projects using the original creator's material. The disadvantages of 
Creative Commons are that creators lose popularity to users that display their media in alternative formats. Another disadvantage of Creative Commons is that by using Creative Commons, it makes it harder to access the original content than artists created. Copyright laws could be changed by constantly renewing the license. For example, after every 10 years, the copyright license can be renewed, allowing changes for the original content and used by others. By advertising a new product, the original creator can make a profit for its use.